this is Artifacts of Mars, and here's an article from Washington Post, the Nightmare of Jeff, Sush Jeff Sessions as Attorney General. What nightmare? Now take a look at this graphic. Opens up Trump's nominee for Attorney General, Senator from Alabama, one of the first members of Congress to endorse Trump. Like that's supposed to be a disqualification. See, this is the way these imbeciles uh, manipulate public opinion. They make it look like, all right, that shouldn't be happening because he endorsed Trump, doesn't have any right to do that, so he's disqualified. That's what they want you to think. If the 2016 presidential election felt to you like torturous, exercise in searching for lesser evils. No, it didn't. The period we find ourselves in now, one where every day brings fresh, fresh speculation about unseemly potential appointments to President White Donald Trump's candidate, has been a waking nightmare. Uh, gee, uh, I haven't been scared. I'm scared of the uh, communist protesters in the streets, but not of Trump. Saw someone apparently as vindictive as New Jersey Governor Chris Christie as potential Attorney General was replaced by a terrifying prospect of Rudy Giuliani being employed to the polls. Why is that terrifying? What has he done? The guy, as far as we know, is uh, relatively clean. Now comes the news that Trump has settled on making Senator Jeff Sessions the nation's top cop. Not good. Which means if the Washington Post says it's not good, then it's good. Usually. Ryan J. Riley, sent the Huffington Post, wrote up Sessions' greatest hits yesterday. They include allegedly calling black attorney boy and agreeing wow what a crime and agreeing with the description of a white attorney representing black clients as race traitor this is all mindless allegations this is gossip he was also accused of referring to organizations such as aclu and then aacp as on american uh well, you can accuse me of that, because I'll say it right now. The American uh, Communist Liberties Union and... Uh, Liberals Union, I should say. The American Communist Liberals Union and then uh, National NAACP is, are un-American. They are un-American. And so is uh, Southern Poverty Law Center. I just said it. You got a problem with that, dirtbag? You want to go? Those allegations of racism all resurfaced in 1986 during confirmation hearings after Sessions was nominated by then President Ronald Reagan to be federal judge. Sessions denied many of the allegations that claimed they'd been taken out of contact, but Senate Judiciary Committee would eventually reject his nomination. First for the Reagan administration. So now we have to have the right points of view. We can't express any opinions anymore in this country without them being looked at by the media. Don't even bore them. Lamestream media has become the government within the government. Civil rights organizations at Sessions Allegedly demean have already been gearing up for the Trump administration. They're not civil rights organizations. They're communists, basically. National Association for the Advancement of Communist People. We'll call it that. Reached earlier this week about the ask about session speculation. Bernard H. Simultum, uh, the Alabama chapter of the 
National Association for the Advancement of Communist People told the watch that he expects sessions would move the country back, especially on civil rights and human rights. That is bullshit. That is incredible bullshit. It's going to make our work here, all people who work for civil rights, it's going to make our work double. Good. That one makes your work triple, you idiot. You don't know what you're talking about. You're not for civil rights or for a communist state. The communists hate civil rights. First session's appointment does not come in a vacuum. It's confirmed he will serve as president. With serve president has spent more than a year waging campaign and has consistently included racist appeals and was rhetorically built on a desire for a return to the glorious days some unspecified past American era. Uh, try pre-Obama and pre-Clinton. All the while making his apparent his authoritarian impulses. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. He will serve a White House whose halls are haunted by former Breitbart boss and Trump campaign chairman Stephen K. Bannon, the man whose appointment has long been cheered by White's promises. This goes on and on. Uh, these people are insane. That's all I got to say. What else do I expect from the Washington Post? This is a hard, hardcore left wing wacko anti American site. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. The uh, Demon Cats, I get that from Savage, the Demon Cats came out with their list of so-called fake news sites. I mean, you know, the Washington Post wasn't on it. You see, they try to manipulate public opinion instead of reporting news. This is the difference. A real news site would report the news. This is what happened. This is what should have happened, maybe. Uh, this is the news. I can give you an example. You know, a car, uh, two cars collide, and one of them hits a handicaps. Um, ramp and breaks that up and all the news can talk about is that, not in people's lives who were disrupted by the crash. That's the type of thing. This is going to be fun watching these people scream. That's all I can say. I'm Arthur Facts and Mars. Thanks for watching. Still got to order a new mic. Bye.